Hi garden friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Era and this is Gardening on Purpose. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I garden in Georgia, Zone 8A, where I do everything gardening related. Today, I'm doing a different type of video. Um, Tibu, the online marketplace, reached out to me and wanted to do some collaboration and um, sent me some products for me to review. Now, if you don't know about Timu, Timu is an online marketplace that offers competitively priced products such as apparel and beauty stuff, electronics, crafts, toys, pets related stuff, and of course, gardening. So, of course, I chose the gardening stuff. Um, Timu offers site-wide sales with savings of up to 90%, guys, and they have free shipping on items and free returns for up to 90 days, guys. So, check out my link in the description box where you can download the Timu app, and from there, you can use my code to get even more perks on Timu, which includes, um, let me see, a $100 coupon bundle, guys. So, that's great. And your money goes really really far in Timu you can get a lot of products what I chose were 20 products um, and it all came in this this one um, <laughs> this one package guys um, so let me see what the products look like I'll show you each of them tell you what price they are and um, hopefully you'll see something you like and get on the app use my code and hopefully you'll be happy with the products guys so let's start out with opening the package I can't believe all that stuff actually fits in here. But it does. Okay. Ooh. Okay, guys. So the first product that came out of the packing, and might I say, they fit 20 things in that um, in that package. I, I couldn't believe it. But anyway, guys, so one of the first things that I want to show you was this 50-piece uh, bamboo plant labels. Now, I actually chose the bamboo ones because it fit right in with the aesthetic of my garden. As you know, I, I like the natural look. I don't want little white, um, little white uh, markings in my yard. I don't want little white labels just poking out. So I think by having the bamboo, the bamboo ones, um, they they will blend in with the garden. So I like that. And let me just open it so you can see. And they actually gave you a pen in there too. <laughs> so here's one of them. That's what they look like, guys. And I like that. You can I can use a permanent marker and stick this in the ground and it will be behind the plant and you won't even know it unless you're actually looking for it which is the whole idea guys so 50 of these for $7.59 next up guys we have this uh, gardening resistant I think it's a garden what's it called it's a sleeve it's like one of those things you actually put on your arm to one to help you with the bugs and um, and to help you with actually blocking the sun from burning your arm in the garden. I really, really like this. This is, um, let me see. You actually has a hook right here where you can hook your, your finger. So let me open it so you can see. See? So you put your arm in here, right? And your finger comes out this way so and this is like a one pair so I got two of them this will be really really great for especially for the bugs I don't know if because uh, the bugs down here are really really bad guys um, these were this was 879 guys so let me know if you actually use these because at first when I usually see these I was like oh I could just simply wear a long sleeve shirt right but then I'm realizing that you have that little thing to put your finger in which keeps it in place and because um, the bugs do come under your clothes so this one they won't have a chance to get in so these were um, 
sleeves with a hole, an adjustable hook, and these were eight seventy nine. Next up, guys, we have a, a soil moisture, um, a soil moisture, a three-way soil meter. Oh, that's great. It actually measures moisture, pH, and what else does it measure? Measures moisture content of soil, lets you know when to water, helps you determine if plant is getting adequate light, and helps you control the pH level in the soil, guys. Um, this one here, no batteries are included, and it is for indoor and outdoor use. I really, I'm surprised I actually haven't bought one of these before. I see them all the time. I just never take the time to actually buy them. And this, this soil um, meter here was... 529 so if you're looking for one this was I mean I'm sure it does the same thing that you would do when you buy those fancy ones but this one is a three in one and this again this one was 529 next up guys we have a potted plant trowel um, or shovel well, they call it a shovel, but it looks like, I more call it like a, a trowel. And this is what you use to scoop uh, the dirt. You might have mentioned, you might have realized in one of my videos, when I was potting up my perennials, I was actually using one of the old uh, planter containers to fill in the other one. This actually helps you scoop the dirt out of whatever container you have it in and pour it in the, in the pot. This one was only $4.79, guys. And it's lightweight. Let me open it up so you can see. It's pretty lightweight. And you literally just like scoop it in. Scoop it in and pour it out in the container. And it has a really nice grip on it. So I don't have to try to find um, old uh, containers to go fill in the other containers. So I really, really like this. And again, I saw a stainless steel one at Home Depot for like $20, guys. This one was literally $4.79. It does the exact same thing. And it's green. Let me know what you think, guys. Next up, guys, we have a three-pack of green nylon plant ties. These were only $1.79, guys. And these are great. So when you're staking your plant, um, you can actually use this to to go around the stake and the plant, and it doesn't injure the plant. So I really, really like that. This will come in really, really handy in my vegetable garden, where I anticipate that the okra and the eggplant and the peppers are going to need a little bit of staking. And I could, when I put the stake down, I could actually use this as as a tie, and this will be really, really great. This was a three pack, guys, for one seventy nine. And this is what they look like. And there were three of them. And again, you just pull it off, cut it, and tie it to the stake and to the plant. So that was, I really, really like this. And it's green, which again, <laughs> I, li I like to buy a lot of green stuff because it blends in. I don't like things poking out and being very obvious in the garden, guys. These were literally $1.79, guys. In keeping with the staking, um, the staking scenario, guys, I have this 10-piece long stem support for plants, guys. And again, it's green. And let me open it so you can see. Now, this these won't stake like um, big trunked or thick trunk stuff, but it will be perfect for vegetable garden, like the peppers and the okra, right? Let me cut this out. This is what they look like, guys. You put it in the soil, and then you put it around the stem of the plant, or not the stem, but the trunk of the, the, the plant, whether it's the pepper, whatever it is, and it holds it in place. And this is really good because in Georgia, we get a lot of windstorms, a lot of thunderstorms, a lot of rain, a lot of wind. And sometimes you come outside and your plants are leaning over um, because they got beat up the night before. So this would be perfect, guys. And this guys, these guys here, these 10, were actually $9.49. So I really, really like this. And as you know, I'm getting ready to do my vegetable garden. So you will see me using this for sure. 
Next up, guys, we have a 40-piece garden clip to secure um, shade cloth or to, sh or to secure a plant cover. Now, again, as you notice, there's a theme here. There's a lot of stuff to protect or to secure because of the upcoming season. This, I have to secure from birds. I have to secure from the wind. I have to secure from rain. So this is a 40-piece garden clip, and these were only $7.48, guys. That's what they look like. Now, these aren't green, which is away from the theme, but it's, but it's fine because, again, it's only clipping um, whatever that needs to be clipped. So it, sh it wouldn't be that obvious in the garden. And by that time, actually, the garden will be nice and green and lush, and they won't really poke out too much. And they might actually be a deterrent to the birds because, you know, when the sun hits it and the reflection comes off of the silver or the shiny stuff, they might kind of veer away from it. So let me know if you have these and what do you think of these. Next up, guys, we have a multifunctional pruning shear. This is a stainless steel shear, and you can never have enough shears for the garden. Let me see. Okay, I actually have one of these. Not the exact one, but one of these. Oh, wow, this is, this is actually, it has something to lock it. And it's actually a good grip. Look at that. Nice and sharp, guys. This one was literally only $4.49, guys. $4.49. I think these are, what, $14 on Amazon? So, and I mean, I like the fact that you can lock it, which most of them you can. And um, it looks like it's, I mean, it's really steady. So I really like this. And I would definitely be using this for pruning um, coming up in this season. This is a multifunctional pruning shear and it is stainless steel so it should be rust resistant if you take care of it for 49 guys let me know what you think next up guys we have a 50 piece flower pot hole mesh pad now I really don't see these in the store at all and but I think it's an absolutely great idea because too many times the containers that I have they get clogged with the dirt right and this one, you can actually put it over the hole, and it keeps the dirt in, but lets the water out. And I really, really like that. This is 50 pieces, literally, guys, 129 on Timo. Let me open it up so you can see what they look like. And, of course, some containers, you have more than one hole. Um, but they can go in like that. Look at that, guys. You literally put it over the hole, and... It let the water through and keep the soil in. And that's usually a problem that I have with the containers is that the soil gets to the hole and stays there. And then the soil stays too wet in the actual container, which again causes plants not to do well. I mean, very rare do I have plants that die in containers. Um, but when the wet, when the, when the, when the um, dirt stays too wet, it's actually not good and the, the plant doesn't perform. So I thought this was a really great, great idea. And again, I've actually been looking for something like this and I haven't seen it at Home Depot. I and mean, I'm sure it's there, I just haven't seen it. So let me know if this is something that you use. And again, they are called um, mesh pads for the holes in your containers. And there are 50 of these guys. Let me know what you think. Next up, guys, we have some garden gloves with claws. And you can, I guess you can dig and plant and weed easily. Let me see. I actually have a lot of gloves, but I don't have any that have those claw things at the tip of it. I'm not sure how they would feel on my, on my hand. Let me see. I've, I've got pretty fat fingers. So let me see if it will, how it feels on my hand. Hmm. I don't know. Feel like Robocop. <laughs> I don't know. I have to actually use it in the ground and see. But by just doing this, it kind of pokes me in my hand here. But we'll see how it goes in the garden, guys. Let me know if you use these. I've actually never used garden gloves with these. But I see them. I see people them using them a lot. If you're actually very manual in your garden and you like to, like, you know. Like, I mean, I do that a lot with the regular gloves. But I have to check these out and see. Let me know what you think, guys. These guys here were literally $1.19 on Timo. I like this material, though. 
But again, I have to test this part out to see if it's actually realistic or comfortable for me to be using this. Next up, guys, we have an apron. This is a waterproof apron. And wouldn't you know I don't have any aprons at all? At all. Like, not even for cooking. I don't, I'm not, I don't use the aprons too much. Okay, let me see. All right, so you put this around you. And look, guys, you can actually put stuff in here. The pruning shears, your phone, a bottle of water, um, you know, something. Oh, you just tie it around, you put it around your neck here and then you tie it around you and you can literally put whatever you need here. This is really great. And again, I like the natural looking color. It's not green, but it is brown, which I love for my garden. Um, and I am, to be honest with you guys, I am a messy gardener. I mean, I don't, I don't show you a lot of the mess that I make on my, on my clothes, should I say. Um, but this would be great. This apron here was $6.99, guys. $6.99. And again, it's not all the way down my entire um, knee. I think it will probably get to my, my mid-thigh, which is quite fine. I just like the fact that it has pockets for the pruning shears and for the, the cell phone. So that will be great. Let me know what you think about this one or if you have this, guys. $6.99 on Timu. I've got another set of stuff here to help with um, supporting my plants, especially my veg vegetable garden. And maybe, to be honest with you, my Leatrice actually leans over sometimes, so I might actually use this for the Leatrice. Um, this, this is a 100-piece plastic garden clip or support vine clip, right? And again, let me open this up so you can see what they look like. These were only $3.99, guys. And you just clip it. Oh, there's another one. Let me get another one. You just use it to clip at the vine. Now, I am going to be um, planting cantaloupes, so this would be perfect for the cantaloupe because you know it's a vine. And cucumbers, that's a vine too, so that needs to get stayed in place, and I could use these guys here as a support. These were $3.99, 100 piece plastic garden clips, guys. Okay, guys, so I have two hats that I chose. And this one here comes in really, really, really handy, guys. Now, in Georgia, there are some bugs that I have never seen. When I lived up north, I haven't seen some of these things. And some of these bugs are pretty brazen. They come into your eye. They come into your mouth. They go into your nose. And I chose this because, isn't this great, guys? You put the hat on. Now, this is an insect-proof bucket hat. It offers sun protection for my face and my neck, guys. So when I put this on, I can still see through here. I can still breathe. And in the back, when the Georgia sun is blazing, I could protect my neck right here. So I really, this is one of the, one of the items that I'm extremely excited about. I mean, we are sun in the summer is brutal, guys. And the bugs don't help it either so I'm protecting myself with the hat protecting my neck and preventing these bugs the first time it happened to me in my garden where the bug went into my eye I couldn't believe it I mean it's literally coming into your eyeball and I think that this would really really help it has a drawstring to help you know manage it and bring it up to your neck so the bug doesn't come underneath it and get into the hat but i thought this was really really great guys this was 749 something like this could end up being 20 something dollars on other platforms but i thought this was really really great let me know i've actually seen another youtuber use this and at first i was like what is that like why she was i think she was in um maryland or something and she used it and i thought it was interesting but I never bought one but I dealt with the bugs and I chose this one so I thought this would be really really nice you'll definitely see me using this <laughs> in the summer because these Georgia bugs don't play around this one here was $7.49 guys this other one here is a, a summer hat and it offers a it's a wide brim hat and again it might not protect me from the sun I mean, not, not from the bugs, but it definitely protects me from the sun as well. I mean, 
when you're gardening, it doesn't hurt to have more than one or two hats. And look at this. Oh, this is really wide brim. I mean, the sun has no chance. And then again, it protects your neck. So I really, really like this one here. And this one here is $2.59, guys, on Timu. And the quality is really great, guys. It's not cheap. It's not... Look at that. It's breathable for when you, you know, when you're sweating or whatever. And it has adjustable adjustability. And it is quality stuff, guys. I'm pulling on it. And the same one with this one, too. Really nice quality. I'm really excited to use these two hats. This one here, again, is $7.49. And this guy here is $2.59, guys. Okay, guys. Next up, we have an anti-bird netting. This is $2.29. This helps. I have a lot of birds. I have a lot of trees in the backyard. And I love the birds So I because I, I have um, water for them. I have their bird feeder and everything. Um, but they still mess with my 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 plants. They still eat out my my tomatoes when I planted tomatoes. They still poke at my products. So I'm hoping that this will help me out. It says it's anti-bird, so that's good. It's specifically to them that love to come. Even though I give them stuff, they still mess with my garden, guys. And again, let me see. Let me take the rubber band off. Ah, okay. Okay, so you pretty much put this over, um, and you know where my garden is, where I have all those um, grow bags. I can literally just put this over the entire, the entire space. It's big enough, actually, where I can put this over the all of the grow bags in one and use one of those clips that I just showed you to clip it down and prevent the birds from getting it. Again, the water will still get through. Sunlight will still get through. I thought that was a perfect buy. This was $2.29, guys. And look at how much you get. Look at how much bird netting you get. Okay, this is actually a good one. I'll definitely be using this. As you can see, guys, there's a theme here. I am all about protecting and covering. And um, I love the birds. I love the pollinators. Um, but sometimes they do get to your stuff before you do get, you know, before you get to them. And I thought this was really, really great. Look at that. Let me know if you have this or if your bird netting, if you have this particular bird netting and if it actually works against the birds. But I will definitely see come the next couple of weeks, guys. Next up, guys, we have a, some reusable plant protector mesh bags. Now, you might have, if you've been watching my video, you remember um, I told you that I have a patio peach. And I literally have never had a peach from it because the squirrels, the birds, and the chipmunks especially, they ravage through it. And um, I thought that I would get this to kind of help me <laughs> with with trying to protect my peaches, guys. Now, I know I'm not going to get to every every single fruit, but this has to be a start. And these here, again, these are um, reusable. So I can put them around the plant, take them off, around the plant, take them off. And they're good for grapes, they're good for tomatoes, they're good for peaches, they're good for anything that can fit actually in it, right? These were $159, guys, for 20 of them. $159 for 20. And again, you put it over the plant, and after you do, then you just pull the string to keep it secure. They're not going to want to bite through. I mean, they might. I don't know. But I guess I'll know, I'll find out this season because I plan to use it a lot, guys. Now, I have no issues with wildlife. I have a lot going on here. I've got birds. I've got chipmunks. I've got squirrels. I've got bugs. I've got all kinds of stuff. And I'm really, really hoping that these mesh bags will really, really help me out. Let me know if you use mesh bags and if... It really, really works. But again, I will find out and I do, will definitely be reporting back to you. But I thought this was really, really great. And again, I've seen this. I've never bought them because I'm thinking, okay, these animals, I provide stuff for them and they still eat my stuff. Um, but I thought this was a really, really great buy because again, it's green. I like green in the garden. It fits. Um, and let me see if the animals still bite through them. It's mesh. Which I, I mean, and it's not even cheap mesh. I'm pulling on it, guys. 
Looks good to me. Let me know what you think. Next up, guys, we have the 100 cell seedling pots and starter trays, which again, you know that I am be I'm going to be planting a lot of my annuals via seed this year, and I thought this would be perfect. These are all um 10 10 packets, so I have 10 of 10, which means I have 100, and these are 7 79 guys let me open the package so you can see they're pretty small though they're not huge so you can probably put two seeds in here and then transplant it to the garden um and again they i'm not sure if they are biodegradable if they can go into the ground and don't have to take it out the dirt but i'll have to look into that a little bit further um but yeah this will be great because I have a lot of seeds. You might have seen my seed video where I showed you all the seeds that I'm buying that are mostly annuals because I don't buy perennials by seed. Um, and these, along with my other um, plant seeding um, setups that I have, I could use this. So I am not in any shortage of having things to get ready for my annual planting, guys. These here are $7.79 for a hundred slots. So 10 by 10, a hundred. Let me know what you think, guys. All right, guys, next up we have an insect and bird barrier and it comes with a drawstring and it plant it covers the plant, not just the fruit, but it covers the entire plant, which is perfect. Um, this one here is only $12.99, guys, $12.99. And it covers, it's good for fruits and it's drawstring. Let me open it up so I can show you what it looks like. Oh, wow. That's like the third, um, the third thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is huge. Oh, this is this is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, what plant? Oh, this might be good for um, the okra or something. Cause this is big, guys. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. I didn't. I guess I didn't look at the measurements that good. But it's perfect for um, if you have a big tree, or I'm mean, not a big tree, but a small tree, and it has fruits on it, such as a peach, <laughs> or anything else that's your prize, and you really need to get, you know, get to your fruits, you can use this entire thing and cover the entire plant. The one of the prior ones that I showed you was just for the fruit. This is the entire plant. So that's really, really great. I really like this. This is a four piece, and this is 12 99 guys there's so many things in the garden that you would think that i would have it by now but i don't i just i guess i just like figure like oh i'm thinking that the, the, the birds are going to stop doing it the chipmunks are going to stop the squirrels are going to stop but they have proven that they're not so i need to protect my plants and i thought this was really really a great buy guys insect and bird barrier and as you, this is like the third or fourth one for insect and bird stuff so you know i have a problem with that in my garden let me know if you use this and how it does in the weather in the storms and of course for the um the critters guys this one here is like you know when you're potting up a plant and you don't want to make a mess now i don't have the price of this one handy i'll put it on the screen when i figure it out but this is what you use if you want to um not make a mess in your yard and i'm not in your yard like on your desk on your table or whatever and um you can use this as like a potting mat so let me know if you use these and how they do it's actually smaller than i thought it was gonna be you just use you just clip it right here this is where you clip each side with, with each. But let me know if you use this. It's like I said, it's smaller than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger because of, of course I use my stuff outside. I have a lot of lot of dirt that I deal with. Um, but let me know what you think about this. Uh, I will let you know the price. Finally guys, we have a, this is the last item on the list. This is a 30 gallon collapsible container gardening bag and I just don't understand why I don't have one yet. Like, it's crazy that I go to Home Depot, 
I'm always shopping on Amazon. I'm always going, you know, online, doing something, but I never buy this. And this is one of the most, reli not reliable, but it's the most um, convenient. Because usually when I do all my weeding or I'm pulling stuff and I have trash for the garden, I usually have to go get the wheelbarrow, pour it in there, and then, and then go in the back of the yard and pour it out, guys. <laughs> but... No, I will be using this guy here. I'm excited about this product here from Kimu. And I left it for last for a reason because I just, I just knew, let me pull this off. Ooh, and there you go on both sides. And I love this deep, oh, I like this, guys. Let me know if you have a collapsible bag. This is perfect. I never have more trash than is needed for this. But look guys, it's quality stuff. And it collapses down to save space. This would be perfect in the garden, guys. This one was only $13.79 for a 30 gallon collapsible container bag. Let me know if you use, I've seen people on YouTube uses these, use these a lot and you just once you put whatever you're gonna put in there you just, it has the handles and you just take it with you guys so let me know what you think about this one this is a 30 gallon collapsible for 1379 guys that's pretty much all the products I have here from Timu guys let me know what you think let me know um, if you have any questions remember to use my um, my discount code, remember to download the Timu app. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And please remember to hit the notification bell to be alerted on my new videos, guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.